What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling bringing you a very quick news video according to WWE.com, so WWE confirming it themselves, they have come to terms with the release of Dash Wilder, Scott Dawson aka The Revival, this is big news, apparently WWE have been trying to keep Dash and Dawson for a very long time, they don't want to stay, uh, they apparently rumoured at the end of last year they were even offered, and this is massive for a tag team, even offered $800,000 each just to stay with the company. WWE obviously thinking if they leave, they're going to go to All Elite Wrestling, which is not what World Wrestling Entertainment will want. Um, big, big news. This is one of the top tag teams in WWE. Former NXT, Raw and SmackDown tag team champions. The Revival did it all in their short tenure with the company. They've been with WWE since I believe end of 2015, if I'm right. I don't know. They've been there probably around four or five years and they accomplished a lot during that time. But they were also not booked very well. They were also losing a uh, fairly, uh, like, a fair amount. And uh, if you can recall, they even lost to Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins at WrestleMania. That is not ideal. I know not many people would want to be in that spot. But yeah, Revival, uh, they are gone now. Officially left WWE. I don't know if they've got a 90-day no-compete clause. But if they do, it doesn't really matter during this time with the current world epidemic going on. Uh, but I honestly think that they will be going to AEW. I think AEW will be signing the Revival very, very shortly. And we can finally see the Young Bucks versus the Revival. But what do you guys think about it? Tell me in the comment section down below. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.